What's up everyone? Today, I'm doing something very different today. Um, while I'm out on the track, I just thought this might be a good opportunity to, uh, I guess, give you guys some insight on some of the gear that I use when I hit the tracks, because I do get a few questions from some of my friends and a few guys out there that watch the channel, and I just wanted to give back to you guys with some information, because obviously this year is something different. I'm gonna try and give some more information about, you know, things to do, where to go, whatever, and mainly what's something else that I wanted to do is also I wanted to help you guys so that when you go out on your family outings, your, your holidays, your adventures, the things that you do with your family, your missus, your mates, give you a little bit of a guide on some gear that I use and recommend some gear for you guys so you can take better shots, better photos, better videos, all that sort of stuff. So that's what this episode is today. It's a what's in my bag 2023, but it's not really a bag because I'm always out there in the field doing it tough so I need to make sure that my gear is always safe so let's take a bit of a dive into some of the gear that I use let's get it right on first on the list the GoPro now GoPro itself is just one of those versatile things you can just throw in a bag and go anywhere with they are so good I pair it with the media mod there's something that I would like to uh, address is audio, guys. It's terrible when you go to film something, uh, like a, a special moment or a special memory that you want to capture on your holidays and the audio is crap. You can't hear what your kids are saying because sometimes, sometimes your kids say some funny things and you just want to capture that moment while you're on the camera there. And, you know, with the audio, it sucks if you have crap audio and you can't hear it. You're trying to show a friend, show something, or, you know, show off your car how it sounds. You, we want to capture that good audio. So this little media mod right here is the perfect thing for your GoPro. It just slips straight on and it captures really, really good audio. I do have a dead cat for it. Now, a dead cat is essentially just a little, like, a foam cover that blocks some of the wind. I constantly lose these things, so always take care of your dead cat. Um... Yeah, GoPros, there's heaps of accessories, guys. I will cover that in another video, um, some of the accessories you can get for your GoPro. But again, this is just a basic understanding of some of the gear that I use. Righto, next one. Righto, the next one is the Humble Drone. Now, this is the Mavic Pro 2. Again, I'm going to go over it in another video in depth. Well, not really in depth, just help you another guide that um, will help you choose the right drone for you. But I use the Mavic Pro 2. Some of the reasons why I use the Mavic Pro 2, it shoots in RAW. So, uh, well, I guess they call it D-Log. So essentially it's just, it captures a lot more information in the video. And then when you put it in uh, your editing software, you can edit and color grade it so it looks absolutely stunning. Something like this. <laughs> Also with, ah, I just dropped the cover, and I pair it with an ND filter. Now what an ND filter is guys, it is pretty much sunglasses for your camera, and they are a great thing, because you know when you have that overexposed, or it's really white when you're um, filming and taking that photo, that's exposure. Now I'm not gonna dive that into it too much, but yeah, essentially it's sunglasses for your drone and camera, right. Righto, next one on the list is the Canon M50. Again, I will go over some of these, I will go over these uh, accessories that I use in another video, um, just to give you a little bit more in depth of what I use and what they are. So this is the Canon M50. Now I pair it with the Sigma 16mm lens. It is a, a much better version of a GoPro, <laughs> except it's not weatherproof. Now this thing is an absolutely boss camera for those who want to capture good video and uh, just want to take better photos. This is the next step up there. There's many other brands out there I'm definitely biased to Canon mainly because That's just what I'm used to Canon is a great brand. They've been doing cameras for years Sony. Yes, they have good cameras, too. I just use Canon. That's just my preference It's kind of like a Ford and Holden thing guys. So pick your poison. I love this Canon M50. I've been using it for the last three years. I still use it today. It's a great little vlog camera. It's so light, especially when you pair it with the um, Sigma 16mm camera. It's essentially just a wide lens. That's why I say it's kind of like a GoPro, but it's not as weatherproof or indestructible. But this thing takes great photos. 
uh, shoots great video and it's definitely something to add into your arsenal. Righto, next thing that I'm going to talk about is, I touched on it before with the GoPro, is audio. Guys, I'm going to say it, yes, audio is a very, impart, a very important part of capturing your video, capturing that audio. So, I recommend Rode. Rode mics are very, very good. This is one of the little video mics that they have. Um, it's great. It's I've actually, on the camera that I'm using right now, I've only just really started using it. It is Canon EOS R. It is a great camera. Cannot recommend that camera enough. It's definitely a step up from that M50. It's just a great full frame camera. And I use the Video Mic Pro. That's why you're hearing such great crisp audio while I'm talking. And you can probably hear the bugs out in here now. The crickets um, going crazy. We're actually in the middle of a Cathu State Forest. But guys, there's a lot of accessories now. I'm gonna bring the camera in a little bit if you don't mind me. Right, I'm probably gonna cut off my head in this video, but what I wanted to show you is how I carry my gear. Now, this is why I said it's not a bag, what's in my bag video. This is essentially everything that I have. Now, I keep these things in cases. These are, this one, I think this one's from Super Cheap. It's like a Tool Pro weatherproof case. They come with like real hard foamy stuff. And this one is a tactics one. Now, I broke the latch, but it still goes very, very hard um, for what I use it for. I probably will replace this one mainly because I just want that latch. I just want that. When you, when you close that, it's fully waterproof, seal proof. Um, yeah, so I recommend if you're doing what I do and you want to look after your gear, you can easily fit a drone or uh, a drone and a GoPro and your accessories in one case. So that's why I like it. I fit my cameras in one case and my GoPro and drone in one and the other. So essentially, if I need to just bring the GoPro and drone, I just throw that one case in. I can literally just throw it in the back of a mate's car. Uh, I can throw it anywhere and I know my gear is not going to get damaged. So that's definitely something that uh, you probably want to invest in if you like getting outdoors. And I just like keeping other little knickknacks like this is what my GoPro came in. So I usually keep my microphones in there just to keep them um, safe and secure. Obviously, these little things are handy guys. I've got a lot of little accessories here that I usually keep separate from them because I usually can't fit them in. But, you know, these things are from Kmart. Like little boxes like that just to keep in... Um, bits and pieces in so right on guys that is the end of the video mainly like i said i just wanted to show you guys a little video of some of the gear that i use to give a quick video now i will out of these out of all this gear here that i have now i like to do things on a bit of extreme so you don't need all this gear but some of the gears that i will and again i'll cover this in other videos definitely a gopro definitely a gopro is going to be get you out of most trouble uh, especially in the world of you know getting out there being adventurous it's just one of those cameras that you can uh, be very versatile with and a drone drone gives you that perfect perspective of up high far away show off the area where you're camping all that sort of business the m50 is definitely up there like all these all this gear that I use uh, like I said you don't need it all but in unison they actually work really really well together and capture great things now like I said I am shooting on the Canon EOS R and that is a new camera that I am kind of using. I'm still figuring all the things out. It's a very, very uh, high class camera. It shoots really clean, crisp videos. So again, guys, this is a lot of the little insider to the stuff I carry. A lot of my friends don't really want me to come because I usually got to carry a whole heap of camera gear. That's because I just want to create good content, good quality content. Yeah, again, if you like this video, please, please subscribe. I really need you guys to help me out this year. Um, I want to take the channel into a really good direction and I can't do that without your help. So please jump on there, hit that subscribe button, hit that like bell. Everything that I've shown you today, I'm going to do a little in-depth video of accessories and, you know, the, the specs about the video. They're not going to be big videos. I just wanted to give you guys the basic understanding of the gear that I use and the basic understanding on how to use the gear and some accessories that you might want for the gear itself. So guys, if you can, like and subscribe. See you on the tracks. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? <laughs> back in that, back in that bag again. Whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Back in that, yeah. Tell them to watch it. Now I ain't talking my pockets. Just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I call it, she slide and tell her to mop it. Yeah, I got that shit.